look crazy so ignore my appearance but for the first time ever I am getting braids not well first time in a long time I'm getting braids so I'm really 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 excited about that if you hear any back talking in the background it is my sister <laughs> sorry I'm getting knotless braids yeah you girls out here trying new things this time around <laughs> you know, I really look crazy um so yes I wanted to show you guys how I prep my hair for my braids and first things first, first of all I'm going out tonight okay so I need to make sure my hair can fit underneath a wig but I also want to make sure my hair is washed um, deep conditioned to be ready to be braided for tomorrow at 9 a.m. the person that I'm gonna be going to that's gonna be doing my braids is somebody from Instagram that I found her Instagram handle is called ATL Lady Red I love her work It's super neat I was looking for I was actually thinking about wax braids but I wasn't sure about it but um when I found her page, I was like, I love her braids. Like, they look really, really, really good. So I'm going to be using this shampoo from Garnier Whole Blends. It's almost finished. It's actually one of my favorites. So next, I'm going to go ahead and condition my hair. Um, I'm going to deep condition it, so I'm going to be using Lovely Bee's Oh Honey Moisture Mask. Okie doke, people. So... Before I go ahead and blow dry my hair, I'm going to be using the Miel Organics Leave-In Conditioner. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of oil. So she actually just texted me and said no oil. So now I'm all ready to get braided for tomorrow morning. Oh my god, get my hair done. <laughs> I haven't got my hair done in so long. Like. Okay, so I was so excited to get these braids. Like, I was like, whoa, like I can wake up in the morning and not have to worry about my wig. <laughs> I mean, a wig is not always, you know, a problem. Sometimes you just want to break. You just want to break from wigs. You want to break from flat ironing. You want to break from having a slate at unit so it was really exciting but i thought that i was gonna be in pain after she finished braiding my hair and i actually really wasn't so i think i'm gonna always opt in for knotless braids it just has a much more natural look it also depends on the person that you're going to i feel like for her it was not tight at all i mean i don't I've always heard that knotless braids is not tight, but I feel like she just did it so perfect and it was so super neat, okay? Like, and I'm always like skeptical of finding people on Instagram sometimes because I feel like sometimes, you know, I feel like I would be that one bad apple that, this, you know, my hair wouldn't come out good and I'm like, oh, hell no. But um, her work like was just amazing. So I was like, I definitely want to try her. So we decided to collab together. Um, the total process of all these braids took a total of eight hours. Um, going a little bit into nine only because I had to, um, you know, change the camera angles several times. So that kind of um, ate up time and then, you know, eating and all that kind of stuff. So typically she does not travel to people's houses in case you guys are wondering. Um, since we were collaborating and the equipment was at my house, she did travel to my house, but usually she doesn't. But um, I can't braid this neat for the life of me. So there was no way I was going to be able to do any DIY knotless braids. Because <laughs> somebody was like, did you do it yourself? I'm like, hell no. Are you kidding me? I have patience for probably three rows of braids. Not patience for a whole head. So I commend people who can braid an entire head by themselves and let their work you know, look super neat and consistent throughout the entire head. I also got waist length braids. Um, I think she has two options. She has waist length and she has mid back. Um, I wanted to go all out since I was going to Jamaica the next day. So I was like, you know what? Let's go all out and get some waist length braids.
once we got towards the back um i kind of tried to show you guys as much as we were doing <laughs> so right now i have like a laptop on my on my leg <laughs> kind of um recording everything at the same time so there's a lot going on that you guys cannot see but this is the process of you know when you're trying to get the right angle for everyone to see now i cannot explain to you how she did my hair because obviously i am no pro i am not even in, i don't even know how to even start off this <laughs> entire thing um so i can't really explain that to you guys uh but if you are a braider and you watch along i'm pretty sure you'll be able to pick up on a few things or you know and then some so but her braiding is really neat took her time um yeah i would definitely go back for some more braids Another fear that I have with knotless braids is a lot of times when I see some people's braids, all I see is scalp. And I'm like, damn, where the rest of your braids at? Like, <laughs> I like that my braids still look so full. Like, it looked like it was still flat, but it was so super full. And the braids weren't like, you know, stiff and standing up on their own direction. They were all going in the same direction. And they all had a life of their own. Because there's some box braids that I see. And, like, they're so stiff that when you bend your head down, the braid follows along. Like, like, like standing up. And I'm just like, oh, my God. So, that was one of my fears, too. I mean, you're going to always have a fear when, not, when you're getting something new that you never had for the first time. But, like I said, I was beyond impressed. Beyond impressed. You ever see that meme where it's, like, <laughs> when you think you have, like, three braids left and she splits it into, like, six? At this point, I was like, okay. <laughs> we split in them. We split in them. But... It went by really fast. I enjoyed her company, so I kind of didn't want the process to finish off um, too quick, which is really weird. But I really enjoyed her company, so I didn't mind the braids being split. And she also did a really good job of tucking my hair inside the, of the braid. So, but definitely don't oil your hair if you are going to get braids. I know a lot of people um, usually tell you not to. Even when I used to do clients, like for like weave, I would say not to either because when it's so greasy and tight, you kind of messed up the foundation and sometimes you might have to wash it out. So, or it's just harder for the person braiding. So don't oil your hair. They will oil your hair for you after it's finished being braided, okay? So don't oil it beforehand definitely try to get a nice deep condition in and let your hair you know get some strength some shine and just look overall amazing and feel amazing underneath the braids um and enjoy your braids girl if you do <laughs> um end up getting them again her instagram is atl lady red absolutely love 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 her so at this point i was so giddy i was so happy i'm like i never want to take these out <laughs> ever <laughs> so they looked really 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 good i didn't leave out any baby hairs or actually she didn't leave out any baby hairs but i didn't mind that because i my baby hairs are fuzzy I don't have any baby hairs. What, what am I saying? But the ones that I do have, <laughs> they're fuzzy. So they're not going to lay down anyways. And in Jamaica, I don't got time for the edge control business. So, And then after this, she pretty much oiled my scalp with, um, I forget what it was. But it was really, it smelled really good. And it felt really good. But it wasn't greasy. It was really nice and oily. So it can seep into your scalp evenly. Then she went ahead and added a whole lot of mousse into my hair and this was the last product that we used i kind of finished and set the braids for per even more perfection so really 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 love her definitely go check her out on instagram atl lady red all right so she just finished my hair um she just left but i'm so 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 impressed with my braids like for the first time my hair, I got my hair braided and it's not tight. Like, come on, when have you ever been able to get braids and just be able to pull it up from left to right and right to left? <laughs> no, but it feels really good. Like, it's not tight at all. You can literally pull 
it all the way up. Like, like you know, you get your braids done, <laughs> and like from the store, you can walk around like this. But your hair so damn tight, you can't leave any in it. No, 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 no. You can bend, you good. But no, I really love them. The work, her work is so neat. And I love how I have actual real parts. So I can like put my hair to the side if I want to. I could also do a middle part, get my salon joan. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then I like how, ooh, ooh, these are cute. I love it. And then the braids are so super deep. Come on, where they do that at? And the ends look good. These are the ends of the hair. So, so super impressed. Love it. Make sure you go and check out ATL Lady Red. And she was dumb cool. Like, she's a really cool person. Love her personality. Like, not like one of those like mean Instagram raiders. Like, <laughs> she's really cool. So. Definitely book her. Her prices are good. There's some people out here charging $400 and up like for braids and she is under 300 under 400 So definitely go ahead and check her out and I'll see you guys in my next video But I hope you guys really liked watching me get my hair braided. Bye guys